It feels like you're watching a movie, like the sound effect. Yeah, of course, League of Legends. It's like you're playing League of Legends. First of all, Xu Ruyun, I love the way she opened the song because there's two main aspects of this song. First of all, there's a very heavy loneliness, which is like sad. And then there's hopeful bright side of the song, which is warrior, which means you're like really brave. And usually the person who opens the song need to make that definition. Like her voice, you can hear the desperateness, but also the loneliness because she was going like quiet, but she sounds very determined. Did you hear that determinedness? Is that even a word? There's a great level of comfort in her voice. It's like telling you, you can do it. And okay, the, the reason I paused is because Jessica's voice is like a, you know, cute type of voice. So I wasn't sure how her voice would sound in a song like this, you know, like League of Legends fighting song. But very surprisingly, I think because she was with these other sisters, when their voices blend and harmonize, it actually really suits the song. And let's listen again, you, you know what I'm talking about. Whoa, oh, the harmony is so good. Jessica's voice actually brings a different type of femininity. Oh, and then her eyes is telling the lyrics, like it's a really determined. Oh, I somehow the, the entrance of Nain, it gave me some shock, but I did I wasn't sure what that is, so I'm gonna hear that again. Oh, it's because the drums doom, like the drums entered with Nain's voice, that's why it's like, oh, oh, oh like, something happened. Okay. Oh, the song is building up. It was just piano at first, and then following by the drum, now there's a bit more chords, like more harmony in the music. Oh, it's also coming through, like, from what I'm hearing, I feel like I'm hearing a older sister trying to encourage me, that type of thing. Range vocal also sounds really good. People have already said Jessica's Chinese pronunciation is very good. If you know anyone who studies Chinese, it's the pronunciation that's the most tricky. More so, I'm more impressed about how the sister's vocal really harmonize and just the amount of strength and courage you feel through their voice. And I have goosebumps every time I listen to this. <laughs> suits this concept because I think Tang Weiwei image and like just her personality really tells the Yong 
in the story. She's a really good leader and she's like always going forward, be like, we're gonna be the best and she's like determined, inspirational. So like this song coming from her, you just feel like, oh my God, this is like a motivational, inspirational song. But what I'm waiting to hear in this song more is I think there should be a level of desperation and slight sadness and a little bit of self-doubt, but overcoming that self-doubt through the whole journey of the song. Not overthinking too much, hopefully, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, there's, there's something, there's something about this part. There's something about this part when the, the whole tempo goes boom, dun, dun, and then Tang Weiwei hits every drum beat. You like, ba, 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 ba. The beats just make you like have goosebumps. <laughs> I love, I love this thing. I love this thing when Tang Weiwei and Nain stand back to back. And then I actually love the whole aesthetic. Jessica literally just represent a whole different type of like lone warrior. She's like kind of like frozen, you know, you're a lone queen. <laughs> voice somehow suits this song. It's like a queen telling you to do something. Oh, I love this part. Oh, it reminds me of um, Lion. It's like a ceremony for the queens. Seriously, my toes, you can't see it, but my toes are like, my toes are reacting to the songs. My analytical brain and my emotional brain are so messed up. Like, like I don't know what to say, but I will try, I will try. Let, let me go back, let me go back. Wow, she's so stable. I love the drums in the background. Whoa. I wasn't a Tang Weiwei fan until this whole round, like her attitude, leading her team, doing Yu, and just her vocal ability and like her interpretation, her stage presence in this song. Let's, let's listen to that again. <laughs> here who would have guessed this combination would work so well like they did a great job doing the aesthetic the stage cinematic <laughs> Look at how a professional girl group transition through the stage. Look at how she steps. She steps on the stage, hitting every beat, even when she's just exiting the scene. Tang <laughs> Weiwei, oh my god. Oh, there's something about her voice. 
It kind of just penetrates through your heart and give you a lot of strength. they send I can feel this desperation the the loneliness the all-in attitude like it's like they're going to a war they're expecting no return <laughs> This is also new. The original song didn't have this You're the Hero. presentation, the cinematic, the choreo. It's such a good idea they went down the stage and joined the audience and this a group of dancers surrounding them really creates that they are the hero in the center and especially I, I saw I think the, the dancers were just like doing this and there's like a real like feeling of like this war cry yeah like war cry war cry type of vibe you just can't stay still that type of excitement i want to hear the harmony again because i could hear na ying and tan wei wei's voice very clearly i couldn't hear much of jessica and xu ru yun's voice <laughs> I think she, uh, I think they had studio recording playing in the background and Tan Wei Wei and uh, that makes sense okay so and Tan Wei Wei and Na Ying are singing mostly here <laughs> For this song, I don't know whether there's much help in giving it too much explanation. It's more just like, just feel it guys. Just feel the power of the song. How they just hit your heart with their voice. Yeah, this is the winner. This is like, this is definitely just a winning stage. They, they executed 
so well and I think it's a really good song as well this song is designed to lead the whole stage oh no actually it's not always so interactive and I like that they they made the song quite interactive because you could sing this song in a more conversational with yourself or usually you come you do this duo and you have this conversation with each other let's let's hear this again mm -hmm. 